Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Now in this video, we will learn about another new library that is NGRX Router Store. We have already learned about the NGRX effects, NGRX Store Dev Tools and also the NGRX Store we have learned. Now we will learn about this Router Store. What is this Router Store? As you see in our project, if you try to see, if I load this project, okay, we are able to see the actions that are for that, that we have did the actions. So whatever the actions we have implemented in our project, we are able to see the those actions. Now if you are navigating from one route to another, so there is no route, uh, there is no actions emitted. But here moving from one route to another route, from uh, moving from one route to another route, if you want to do per particular action means, so there is no way we don't have an routing thing. So of course we can implement that one uh, when we are navigating, we can implement an action. But the NGRX will come with a uh, handful library that is nothing but a router store. When the user is navigating from one route to another route, from one page to another page, so NGRX router store will emit some default actions, default actions, so that if you want to perform any logic uh, when, when we are navigating to the, to, the, to the another page, if you want to do perform any logic, we can implement using those actions. So what are those actions? So we will let, let's try to see. So here, how to install this router store? So here if you try to see here see during each na router navigation cycle multiple actions are dispatched that allow you to listen for changes in the router store. Okay so when we are navigating from one page to another page so um, actions multiple actions will be dispatched. So if you want to do the multiple actions if you want to perform any multiple app actions using NGRX effects or anything you can do the necessary thing. So how to set up this one first we need to install this NGRX router how we can install this one. So just we have a command that is nothing but the npm install at the rate ngrx hyphen slash router hyphen store. So let's install the library in, into this project. So we have already installed the ngrx store. We have already installed the ngrx store dev tools. We have installed ngrx effects. Now we are installing the ngrx store. So now here <coughs> let's install this project. Let's let's install this library. Sorry. Yeah the uh, NGRX router store has been installed in our system. So if now if you try to after installing this one how to set up is so the setup is nothing but what we need to do is so we need to add this into your app module. So we need to add this into your app module. So now let's go here into the app module. This is the app module right. Let's open close all and here let's go here and let's minify this one also. Okay. Now app.module.ts if you open app.module.ts here we have FX store modules, store dev tools modules. These three are the things what we have learned up to now. And we need to add another one that is nothing but the store, store router connecting module dot for root. Okay, you will be having dot for root. Okay, so this is the thing. So if you if you as soon as you add this one into the app module, let's try to see the output. If you try to see the output here, here if I try to refresh this page, okay. If I try to refresh this page, taking so much of time, let's save this one. Let's see here 0% compiling, 50% compiling. Okay, so whether it is imported, yeah, it is imported store router connecting module from NGRX store, it is imported. Okay, now here it is saying node modules IV. Okay, okay, say system sometimes we have installed new library package, right? So we have added directly. So my system I don't know why so it will ask me to do run it again. So let's rerun my server. Let me know in the comments if you are facing like these issues or not. So for example if you are adding some new library package or anything if you are doing suddenly you were uh, if you are shifting the branch or anything. So suddenly your server your uh, compiling so he is throwing any errors or not. So this is not uh, not an error actually the compilation problem so if you rerun this one again it will take all the files and it will run it again okay, let me know in the comments if you are facing a uh, this type of issue so now let's compile this one so it is taking compilation see now it is compiled successfully so now i, I am not getting any errors sometimes this happens oh why this one i need to research in this one yeah so now I refresh one so now as soon as I refresh so here you will be able to see router store navigation and also the router store navigated you will be able to see if I click if I if I move from home to the post page here you will be able to see see router store navigation router store navigate after navigated so load post and load post success is loading 
So in the navigated, if you try to see the action, so for example, if I click here, I want to see the data. What is the action and the data? So here is the type and here is the payload. Okay, here in the, in the payload, what we are getting? The router state, we are getting all the data. Here we are getting, we are able to get params, data, URL, outlet, router config, everything. We are able to get everything. First child, the, all the things we are able to get the data, right? So now, this data we are getting fine. So now we need to, here we need to add it in our router, router store. So we cannot, uh, what we can do, so here we, we have got all the things. So this is how we will be adding the router store. First the basic step is this is how we will be adding the router store. Okay, now what we can do is, so for example, we need to add this data. Okay, we need to add the store navigated thing. What is happening? Yeah, it's refreshing. So we need to add the store navigated thing in our state. So this is our total state. Shade, auth, post, this one is there, right? We need to add in, we need to add it in our store. So how we can add that one? So let's go to the app reducer. Okay. Let's go to the sorry app app.state.ts. Here I can add directly router. Okay. Router reducer state. Okay. So this is the router reducer state. So this should be imported, imported from the Angular router. Okay. So this one is imported from the angle, uh, sorry, NGRX router store, router register. This is the state. What is the state router reducer state we are having. Now we need to add it in the reducer. So we will be having router and for this one also we will be having router reducer. Okay. So we will be having the router reducer for this one. This one also should be imported from the NGRX router store. So there is no need for us to create a state and the reducer for the router thing why because automatically the router reducer state and the router reducer we have it automatically in the ngrx router store now let's see whether this router has been added or not, not now if i try to refresh this page okay now we got the data okay the router state everything we got the data okay now let's check in the state see here the router has been added if you try to see here the entire state has been added here see if you try to see the entire state has been added here okay so this is the way we will be adding the router so all the time what it will happen is whenever we are navigating so we are in the right now in the uh, we are in the post right so here if you see here in the slash post if i go to the home page directly so the route will be automatically updated so if you try to go to the action if i can try to check the state again so now sorry here we are in the this one right so if we go in the ending thing or otherwise if i remove this one so now we are in the slash c if i click on the post see here it is moving into the post if i click on the counter see automatically the router is getting updated so that means automatically the params also will get updated if you click on the post and if i click on the update update see here the params will be added so post slash edit slash right so here in the here you uh, here in the path posts and the slash this one right Let's try to check get a router. Okay. The route boot. We are having the params. Okay, so we are having the params. So now if you try to see here, we are not able to find the params. So if you go inside, inside, so there are there is lot of data. So what is happening is there is lot of data. So we are unable to find the params. Where, where is this params loaded? We are not able to find this one so we are having first shell first shell first shell so much of router config we are able to see so here if you go here edit here we are able to see and here if you see here you will be able to see the params of id so how much deep we are having see let's see let's assume so this much of deep that means we are store we are storing lots of lots of data in the router store module so for example if you go to the state in the same scenario you will be having the state state if you need to go into the deep first child I, I told not remember the post and here if you need to go into the first child and again you need to go into the first child here you will be able to see first child first child first child like this so like this we need to go inside and we need to find the params so it would be better if you store the data whatever the uh, router data whatever the data i need i need to be stored i need to have if you store that much of data it is be sufficient it will be sufficient right so in the next video what we'll try to do is how we can store the data whatever the data i i need it in the routing thing so whatever the routing we will be needing, we will be needing url very params uh, router params most probably optionally data some these thing these four things only will be able to uh, 
you we, it will be useful in our application somewhere so how we can store that much of data you need to be stored in the in our store data you want to store means how we can store we'll try to see it in the next video okay so this is about the introduction of the router store how to install the router store and how you can check the uh, how you can trigger how, how the actions will be dispatched when you are navigating from one page to another page so now in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to move it into a little bit configuration and we'll configure the router store okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you